All right, guys, so I'm editing the first day video, and I just realized that it's way too long, so I'm splitting the video into two. So this is the part two of the same video. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed the first part. So, yeah, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into the part two. I just might be a black Bill Gates <laughs> in a make I it. I want it. bad because anyway you guys just listen so okay yeah if i say this one let me know in the comment section which one of these whammy moments was your like fave like which one did you like the most anyway the third one <sighs> you guys oh yeah if you're not subscribed subscribe right now i'm making you laugh your ass off so you better subscribe to my channel okay <laughs> all right so what happened was i had this bomb point here and she was so cool and she was so nice and whatever i'm not going to say what year this happened because this is the first time i've ever opened my mouth to talk about it. i don't want anybody to put two and two together because you ain't none of your business okay so it, it happened in high school and this is my bunkmate um she was really cool she was really nice we got along really well so one night i was sleeping and um all of a sudden everywhere around me was wet and I wasn't understanding. I thought at first I thought I was in my period and I was like, oh shit, no, not not no. So but then I now started hearing like water dripping, like tum 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 tum. And I'm like, hmm? Cause I just woke up from sleep, so it was just super confusing to me. And then I like sit up and when I sat up, like I could hear water on the floor, like on the um, ground under my bed. She was on top and I was below. So obviously it's like bunk bed space. So like as I sat up, it was like I squeezed the bed or something. So like water dripped on the floor and I was like, wait, what the hell is going on? And then like I just see like her bed dripping onto my bed. You guys, she was peeing. Oh my God! Wow! Yo, <laughs> I was like I, like, I just stood up and I woke up. I was like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Like, you're peeing on the bed and like, you peed on me. And she woke up and she started crying and she was like sad. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. And nobody would ever suspect who this person was. Like, nobody would ever thought. So she said, oh my God, Ben, please, let's just clean it up before anybody knows. So that was when my sleep ended. So we started cleaning up. The bed. See, we did some kind of 007 thing. So it was about 3:50 something. So we usually, I think, we wake up by five or 5:30. I don't remember. But towards that five, people would start waking up. So this is what we did. We took the two beds, her bed and mine, put it in front of a just one room. Went to the store, got two new beds, put it on our bed. Took um, what's it called? Took new bed sheets and laid our beds. No, 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 no. We used our blankets to cover our beds then she took her like nighties everything went to go and soak it and wash and then hung it outside so after the, after that whole thing now everybody woke up nobody noticed anything because we like the whole room looked untouched nothing was it looked like nothing happened so yeah we kept it a secret till we graduated till now nobody knows about and nobody will still know who it is you just know what happened you don't know who it is so yeah that was my why me moments because i was like jesus jesus why me <sighs> Why me, Lord? Why me? <laughs> but yeah, it was like, it was our secret still now. Okay, my fourth why me moment was this cut. I have a scar here on my face. And um, this happened when I was in just one doing my agrid practical. So, <laughs> so we went for agrid practicals. Me, and some other people, I think, was this just one or just two or just three? I don't remember, I was in junior school during agri practical. So, um, we went to the farm to do our agri practical. We we're planting beans or corn, I can't remember, I think it was corn, but I don't really remember. So, so, we went there and our teacher left, and then many people left. So, it was just me, my best friend at the time, um, and I think like four other people, three other people, I don't remember. So, we started playing this game where I'll be dodging things if they throw, where they'll throw stuff at me and I'll dodge it in my mind. I don't know why the hell I'll be the one holding. I was holding a rake and I was like dodging things and like being, being all, mm, yeah, and I'm feeling myself and everything. So, 
I'm dodging everything. I'm dodging everything. I, of course, I volunteered to be the one at the. I don't know why I would. I don't know. Benama, like a few years ago, was really stupid. I wouldn't even lie. So I was holding the rake, and then they were throwing like they were throwing like bricks, like broken bricks. So like I would dodge the, the second one before this one here. Yeah, I barely, I barely dodged. Like I could hear the when it passed me. Like I instead of me to have the sense to know. All right, it's time to stop this play because something bad could happen. No my big head i stood there i was still dancing i was still trying to do whatever the second one just came at me man <laughs> you guys i fell on the floor like this and i was rolling <laughs> it was so stupid you guys oh my god i fell on the floor and i was already i was like oh my god i was wearing yellow house skirts and tricol wine top i can never forget so i was like oh my god oh my god and then it was like blood. I, I didn't i just knew that something hit him but i didn't know how bad it was or what was going on or whatever but i just looked at the yellow house skirt and there was blood on it ah i started crying i just started crying i was like god why why oh god my face my face and then like um what's it called all my friends my best friend at the time he was one he was my best friend at the time that threw the stone oh, he was him so he threw it, so he was one like this, I was like, okay, are you okay, are you okay? So when he now saw my face, he, I didn't even know what I looked like, but like, the way everybody was kind of like, oh my god, oh my god. I was like, oh my god, what the hell? So, um, they took me to our nurse, our school nurse, and she was like, we have to stitch it. I was like, no, please. No, please. Then and I was like, I was crying. I don't want to stitch. I don't want to get my face stitched. So I was just thinking I was going to be ugly for life. I was like, I'm done. Like my fan girl has ended today. My fan girl will never continue. So I was just, I was so sad. I was like, oh my god, my face, my face, my face. And um, yeah, we didn't end up stitching it. It took a long time to heal. It took about four weeks, if not more. And then the scar was still there. It was like permanent for a long time. I had this scar for a very, very long time. It's still visible if you look well. But yeah, it's it's not that bad anymore. It doesn't make me look good. I'm still a fine girl. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so my last YME moment happened so recently, and you guys won't even believe when I tell you. But you know, I try to be honest with you guys and tell you guys everything as it is. So if you remember this video I made, um, the box of crayons video. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I made a video using the box of crayons palettes. Now, mind you, I wanted to make this video like a long time ago, like when I got the palettes. But I was like, mm, let me hold on a bit. So I, <clears throat> so I made this video with the box of crayons palettes when Crayola brought out their own um box of crayon brought out their own crayon makeup line or whatever i was like no super did it first blah blah, blah. there's already because the, the box of crayons is a black owned brand so like I, that was why i even did the video i was like oh let me support whatever so when i saw that crayola thing i was like ah i had to do that video so i filmed the video the day i found out that crayola brought out their own um what's it called their own makeup brand so i made the video and like i put so much effort into that video if you watch that video you know that i put in effort into that video and i posted the video on my ig on my facebook on my snapchat on here like i was i put the video everywhere so i posted it by like by 9 pm i always post on my videos by 9 so i posted it by 9 and i woke up by 2 and i woke up to a message from or rather two messages from the ceo of box of, of the crayon case the crayon case is the name of the company and box of crayons is the name of the eyeshadow palette so i got two messages from the ceo one on my instagram and one on my youtube you guys i think if i still find i took screenshots of the messages if i find them i'll put them in this video so one was the one on my ig she was like um this is a replica palette it's not the original one my heart dropped i was like oh my god like how could i have made this mistake i didn't know how much the original one was so when the girl told me the price of that one i was like oh this has to be original because i spent quite a lot of money on it so when super said this is a replica this is not the this is a replica palette this is not the original full stop she didn't even say your makeup is fine you're doing nothing she said this is the replica palette and this is not the original so it was so embarrassing for me and 
it just made me feel bad because obviously that wasn't my intention i didn't intend to promote anything other than her brand but i was like jesus why me like that wasn't enough i went on my youtube and she had written a whole like a pistol not a pistol but like she wrote a paragraph yeah about how she wants to send me the original palette because this palette is not it it's not pigmented it's low quality but you guys i have never been so i was like oh my god so i mean i said jesus why me so I, immediately i wanted to delete the post on my ig delete my my um youtube video i just didn't want the video to exist anymore. i didn't want the comments to exist. i didn't want anything to exist anymore but i thought about it and i was like wouldn't that be lying like wouldn't that be like let me just leave it because this is just one of the one of the thing one of those things that happen so i left the um the videos and but i deleted her comment on my ig because it was just too embarrassing for me like my my ego was like crushed i couldn't take it then. so i deleted her comment on my ig so after that like after i realized everything obviously i had to like apologize to her i sent her an email a dm and i told her that i was really sorry um i didn't mean to um what's it called to promote anything other than her brand like i would never like try to sabotage another person's brand just because i want to make a video and like if i knew it was red car i would never have bought it so since then i need makeup product i want to buy i buy it straight from the website or from someone i know is like a legit um what's it called makeup dealer or whatever in nigeria or wherever i am so yeah i sent her a message and she was like and she just said she just replied and she was like the only place you can get an original box of crayons palette is on my website and i was like okay that's fine like okay i'll order it so i placed my order on the 20th of june and i'm waiting for my order to get here now so it, they sent it out since but i haven't gotten it yet so hopefully i get it soon and when i do get it i will be making another video about the box of crayons palettes and like i bought like a whole bunch of stuff like even the you know i also did a giveaway yes i forgot to add that i also did a giveaway for that palette on my channel so like i was just like oh my god this is just a disaster like so i ordered two palettes so audira won that give you so audira gets an original box of crayons palette straight from her factory so yeah so yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video those are my top five why me moments all embarrassing all stupid all just sad but anyway they just they made for a good story time so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um <laughs> So let me know which video you which story time you like the most and um yeah don't forget to subscribe comment like you know all that good stuff share this video you shouldn't laugh alone you know what i mean <laughs> all right so i asked you guys for your number if you're subscribed to my channel send me your number i asked you guys on my instagram and some of you sent me your number so this is why i asked you guys for i actually wanted to do a video here where i'll prank call you guys but i think this would be a much better this is a much better idea so i'm going to call you guys at the end of every video till i run out of numbers to call so today i'm just gonna speak at random let me just choose one person to call let's call ugochi easy okay ringing hello hi good afternoon is this ugochi hi do you watch videos on youtube you do Oh, okay, this is Belema. <laughs> Hi. Hi, good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So I'm filming a video and I just decided to call you and see how you're doing and check on you and see if you're having a good day. You're welcome. You're welcome. So are you having a good day? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Have an amazing day. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Bye, girl. Have a nice day. <laughs> You're so cute. She sounds like someone I want to be my friend. Like, hi girl, hits me up, you know, we could like have a very good friendship. Anyway, so yeah, so we'll go to pick. Second, we gave her a second call because like first time she didn't pick. Anyway, so yeah, it was nice hearing from you, Gucci. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I love you. If you want me to call you, send me your number on IG and you just might be the next person I'll call. Okay, bye guys.